unpopular opinion time. I don't like tulips for first year flower farmers and here's why. Hey, I'm Kristen with Shifting Roots and I help cold climate gardeners with short growing seasons learn to garden flowers and vegetables with ease. And if you listen to my first statement about how I don't really like tulips, especially if you're a first year flower farmer, just put your pitchforks down and hear me out. So the first reason I don't like tulips is because the bulbs are expensive and it's not always guaranteed that you are gonna make a profit off of them. So for example, I just spent a really conservative amount on my bulbs this year, just like $300 max. And out of that $300 worth of bulbs, right now it's looking like I'm gonna be lucky if I get 10 sellable bouquets. So I guess if I charge $30 per bouquet, I'll at least have gotten my money back. But ideally for all the bulbs that I had, I should have been able to get more like, I don't know, at least 50 sellable bouquets. And so why am I not getting those sellable bouquets? Well, the reasons are partly also why I hate tulips. And that's because tulips are finicky. If you're gonna get that perfect stem length, you need to make sure that your tulips are likely planted in a part shade location, or that you're like consistently watering them, especially if you're like me and live in the prairies where drought is a real thing and we don't tend to get a lot of water in the spring. And I know some of you out there are gonna say, well, my tulips are in full sun and I have great stem length. And that might also be because you have a variety that is better with the stem length. But you know what? I'm still sort of new to tulips and I don't know yet which are the varieties that tend to be better with the stem length and which ones are that are kind of just difficult to deal with that are maybe not worth my time. I also lost a lot of my tulips this year because I put them in a raised bed. Now, I know some flower farmers do farm in raised beds and the reason they're successful and I'm not is because their raised beds are closer to the ground. So, I think they're better protected over the winter and mine are higher up. Now I knew this going in that this was a risk. So what I did is I put leaves over them. I covered them with frost fabric and I thought that that would be good enough, but I've dug in the ground. They are definitely dead. So I mean, I guess that was a mistake on my part. I'll be fair, but it doesn't help my case for not liking tulips. Finally, when you're a flower farmer, Tulips aren't perennial anymore. Tulips are actually annual. So you've spent all this money on this bulb and maybe it doesn't grow and have decent stem like that you can sell. Well, it's not like you can save it. You have to still pick it up and throw it in the compost and start with new ones next year, which is incredibly frustrating. Now, some of you will also ask me, well, can't I just pick my tulips as perennials and they'll come back? Yes, some varieties, but for the purpose of flower farmers and getting like the best bloom possible and the best stem length possible, we're gonna have to unfortunately throw that bulb in the compost and start from fresh every single year. So why do we do it? Well, frankly, tulips are some of the first flowers to bloom. And so when people are really, really desperate for those local flowers, in come tulips. And you know what? If you have a successful tulip crop, tulips can be a huge money maker for your business. Or worst case scenario, maybe you break even, but people have bought something for you and then it's more likely that they might buy something from you at different points in the season. Well, I confess that the topic of this video is a little bit clickbaity and I am sorry. I think I've given you a pretty solid case for why I don't like tulips. And even if you don't 100% agree with me, I think you can see where I'm coming from. So tell me in the comments, am I crazy? Or do you also sort of not like tulips either? All right, we'll see you in the next one, friends. Bye-bye.